So we uh, first announced this last year, was uh, built on our own proprietary Linux system, and the world is moving to Android. So what we wanted to do was to take a standard Windows PC, four hours of uh, usage time, uh, web browsing all built in, um, you know, standard Windows PC, and we wanted to add a twist. Android obviously is taking off, and so with the flip of a switch, you can see that it instantly switches over to an Android yeah, mode. Nice. At this point, I'm able to remove it. We've got our four pane interface. We call it the 4P interface here. And I've got access to music. I've got access, oh, I'll get back to that in a second, high definition videos, uh, shortcuts to apps. But this is an Android uh, experience as well. So you've got, for example, Angry Birds. You know, it's been the popular app that everybody wanted to see today. So yeah, that is, in fact, there and will work. Um, unlike a lot of other tablets uh, running Android today, they won't handle 720p video or even high definition video at all. This has some extra hardware and software inside that enables it to be able to handle high definition video and play it properly. Um, the other thing, there's a button here, uh, get you back to home, but it's also designed as an application button. So if you swipe it this way, it brings up the application specific thing for the Android app. Uh, this happens to be a back button and then you can swipe it from side to side. So you've got in a single button a whole lot of control and not having to clutter up, let's say if you want to grip it here, and then have to worry about, well, did I actually hit a button as I'm gripping it? After I'm finished, uh, by the way, about eight hours of web browsing time, about five hours of high-def video time watching. What's the, what's the Android OS? Uh, this is, is version 2.2. 2.2. Yep. And when uh, we're going to first launch this in China. It'll be available by the end of March. Um, when we have it outside of China, it's dependent on when Android 3.0 Honeycomb becomes available. Okay. I simply slide it back in. It takes a couple of seconds to re-authenticate to Windows, but then I've got a full functioning Windows PC with built-in touch as before. Do you have two separate drives that are able to pull that off in the machine? Yeah, so you've got a processor here. This is a Core i5 ultra low volt, and then you've got a uh, Snapdragon processor here. And so it's got its own memory. It's got, uh, you know, this is just acting as a touch screen in this mode, but it's got its own memory processor, et cetera, dedicated to it. So it runs Windows only in the keyboard mode. Correct. And when you pull it out as a tablet, it's yep. Android. That's, that's, that's nice. Yep. That's great. Uh, not said in the U.S., but if you take the Chinese price and then translate it you, you, you want to dollars, it's right around 1300 okay. um, I don't think it's going to deviate that significantly once we get bring it outside. Um, depending on Honeycomb, so it's up to Google. Google really doesn't say either way at this point. It's coming soon, though. I mean, you well, it's, it's coming soon, but you know what? You know, you listen to some people; it's the end of March. You listen to other people; it's not till winter. Oh, really? I don't think it'll be that late, but so you get a best guess is probably June. A couple of a couple of big products. In, in a